What's going on YouTube? My name is Chris and welcome to a modern nation. So I don't actually have a video ready for you today. So blog update, we're going to cut the intro, go straight into it. So you guys probably are wondering why I don't have a mod video up yet. I've been working on a couple projects lately and this is the part where I make a bunch of excuses and say why I'm not ready and why I don't have a video for you today. I've been busy, all right, life happens and sometimes I'm not always able to work on a video and get them out pretty quickly. I have to say that thus far I've been pretty good about getting videos out on a regular basis, with a few exceptions. So uh, I just wanted to give you guys a chance to take a look at some of the upcoming projects that I have. So this is what I've been working on lately, um, doing an Xbox One controller mod. Uh, you can see here that I've painted the, uh, the shell of the controller a nice, I guess you could call that an Arctic white or just white. So I kind of had some issues with this that I was talking about before. It's kind of got like a purple tinge to it. And the th reason is because uh, I didn't let the paint thoroughly dry before I applied a clear coat. So don't do that. Uh, don't do what I did. You could really see where it reacted. It went right through the paint uh, down to the black layer of the controller and it kind of pulled those black inks out and give it kind of like a purple looking color. So this is the main part of the mod that I was working on. Um, so here's the top part of it that kind of fits right over the controller. There's actually a ring of light on top and there's a ring of light on top there too. So I'm going to have um, some custom lighting effects happening with this one. Uh, just not quite done with this project yet. Um, I'm also installing these. Currently figuring out how to wire these in. I've had some success but I still need to figure out how I'm going to get these underneath the d-pad how am i going to get them underneath these buttons without affecting how the buttons uh, are depressed and uh, hopefully this video will be out soon as soon as i can figure out uh, just what's happening with that i also just got myself a brand new wii u so you can kind of see there i got all my games loaded up uh, so I was really super excited about this because I wanted to have a legit Wii U of my own. Here's the console over here. Uh, you notice that I've got a hard drive hooked up to the top. That's so I can load up all these games. Uh, so I'm using, I'm playing all these games on the external hard drive. Uh, so yeah, I'm really super excited about this, but I'm not going to let it detract from my ability to put out great video content. You know, when I'm not uh, in modern nation doing YouTube videos, uh, sometimes I like to game. I game on Fridays and Saturdays. Right now I'm playing Cuphead on Twitch and YouTube, as some of you might have seen. But, uh, you know, don't be surprised if you get some more Mario Maker in the future. So last week I attended TwitchCon up in Long Beach, California. I had the opportunity to meet a lot of wonderful people, including some of my favorite YouTubers, including Luke from Linus Tech Tips, uh, Steve, who uh, some of you guys might remember from New Egg TV. I even got to meet Barnacles himself, Jerry. Uh, which I was super stoked about because I had always wanted to meet Jerry. Uh, he lives up in the Washington area and he's never really down in Southern California very often unless he's hanging out with Jay's Two Cents. So uh, I was just glad to meet up with those guys and hang out. Uh, really nice people and I'm, I'm really glad that I had the chance to talk. But yeah, TwitchCon was a blast. It was a lot of fun. I was really tired at the end of it. When people say that uh, con flu is real, I didn't get sick, but uh, I definitely felt really tired. I was up there from like noon to like, I think around 8 or 9 p.m. I'm glad that uh, I had the chance to go and now I can rest until TwitchCon next year. Also wanted to point out, maybe you guys have uh, seen this, I screen printed some t-shirts. That's right, in Modern Nation. I'm gonna include a photo just so you can see what the back looks like. I did the IMDN logo with the brackets. I actually screen printed them the night before TwitchCon. I was up till about maybe two in the morning uh, trying to get those done as quickly as I could and get them dried and ready to go. In fact, I can show you, I even made the screens. You could see the screens, you can actually see through them. Uh, I made the screens for screen printing these t-shirts. Um, I've never done it before. I uh, was really, really excited how well they turned out. 
So don't be surprised if I start screen printing more t-shirts in the future. And you know what, maybe, just maybe I'll do a video to show you guys how to screen print your own t-shirts. I know it's not really a mod, at least it's not a mod in the electronic sense, but it's still a mod and it's still really cool. So I know a lot of you have been asking about the Snowblind mod or the LCD side panel mod that I did a few months back. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video, you can watch the version 1.0 by clicking on the card in the upper right. And in that video, I took the LCD screen from a Dell UltraSharp monitor, stuck that thing into this case behind me, which is the, um, it's a Thermaltake Core V31. When I did that mod, I wasn't really happy with it. Uh, it had a lot of issues that I was gonna deal with in version two. Now, I haven't put out version two yet, um, and that was because uh, it's a really extensive mod. It takes a lot of time. Uh, I've been really busy working and going to conventions on the weekend. But I did acquire myself two new Dell Ultra Sharp 1908 FP monitors. Uh, picked these up on Craigslist for $20 each, uh, which was a great deal. So I had to get both of them. Uh, they're really hard to find locally. Uh, I've tried electronic stores, I've tried pawn shops. These are the exact same monitors that I used in the version 1.0. So I figure if the display and the electronics are the same, it should be really easy to replicate. So that project is gonna be coming soon. I'm gonna need to paint the inside of the case uh, just because I feel like painting the motherboard was not gonna be enough. Uh, so in addition to painting the motherboard, I'm going to be plasti dipping the inside. The reason why I'm plasti dipping and not painting is because I don't want it to be permanent. I want to be able to peel it off and change colors at a later time. Uh, really, this is just for the Snowblind mod. And I need to buy some more acrylic. I need to get some acrylic glue. Uh, I'm debating on how I want to mount the LCD. And one of the ways that I was thinking about doing it was gluing some acrylic to the acrylic sheet that's already on there. It'll create a little shelf for the LCD to rest on so that it doesn't fall. And uh, that's gonna take some time as well. So expect that mod to be coming out before the end of this year. I also have some other projects in the works. Because I just surpassed a thousand subs, I was planning on making my own YouTube subscriber button. So the YouTube play buttons are usually given out when you hit a certain number of subscribers on your channel. The silver play button is given out at 100,000, that is the lowest that you can get the gold play button at 1 million, and then I think the diamond at 10 million. So I decided that I was gonna make my own play button as a way of celebrating a thousand subscribers. I don't know how to make a play button. So I checked Etsy and there are some play buttons available that have been 3D printed. So I might just end up buying one of those and kind of making, um, something like a shadow box deal. In fact, the shadow box that I'm gonna be using is gonna look something like this. Uh, you can see it's actually pretty deep on there. Um, I don't know whose child this is, um, but she will not be there. Um, and then here's the back. I'm gonna need to mod this shadow box in order to be able to fit the play button. And uh, well, let's just say that building a regular play button is not my style. Be prepared for some pretty cool mods with this. But that will be coming probably December towards the end of this year. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button below and share the video. And join the modern nation and get subscribed today by clicking on the subscribe button below. And when you do, click on the bell icon inside of that subscribe button to be notified the moment that I release new YouTube videos. Now remember, I'm releasing new YouTube videos every week and I am trying my hardest to get one of these mod videos out, whether it's gonna be the Snowblind mod version two or it's gonna be that Xbox One controller mod. Um, I don't know which one I'm gonna be able to finish first, but I gotta say, I have a lot of work to do. If you have any other comments or questions, you can leave them for me in the comment section below. And as always, you can reach me on social media. I'm available via Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, you could also catch me streaming every Friday and Saturday evening on Twitch and YouTube. My schedule is posted to the right, so make sure you check that out. Thanks again for watching this vlog and update video. Uh, I, I don't really know what this was supposed to be. It started out as a vlog and then it was kind of me making excuses as to why I don't have a YouTube video out that has to do with mods. But there will be more modding videos in the future. No doubt about that. I can guarantee you that. 
Um, but until then, I will see you guys next time, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.